this episode. I had been shown this gravel bar by a friend in a previous episode. I returned and I'm bringing a few extra prospectors along. We're here today for our annual fall group dig and I want to know just how much gold is locked in some of these gravels and it looks like I'm not alone. Mountain Mike's here as well preparing an awesome lunch for us all and I can't wait to see at the end of the day what everybody has found. The gravel bar we're working today is known to hold quite a bit of flower gold and if you're able to capture it you could at the end of the day end up with a decent amount. Okay we're here at the fall dig of 2020 there's fish jumping big old fish just jumped right over here. Got people fishing down here. This is the last day of salmon season, I believe. But look at all these people we got. Bunch of people sluicing down here. I think there might even be some people around the corner too. Our camp's right up here. We're gonna have lunch here in a little bit. I gotta set up a sluice box. I wasted no time in setting up my sluice. It's not quite easy in some of these spots here. You have to either build a dam or have legs on your sluice box. I was able to get it set up pretty well. Let's see. It goes through that hole. Huh? We have to, uh, if you have to bugger it, we can do it. Well, we're going to do some little uh, river engineering here. Not only did Mountain Mike cook an awesome lunch for everybody, he saved the day by fixing the grill before we even started. My hat is off to Mike for helping out so much with this event. He even brought some prime heirloom tomatoes from his personal mountain garden for the burgers. How you doing up here, old man? ground that was too low I think yeah I think so I think the best spots like right here right where it starts to curve more a little steeper yeah right right where it starts to get steep it's like the best spot I think even higher I went pretty high on mine <laughs> where, where are you at way up there yeah I got a truck coming maybe right up there it's kind of all the way how's it going over here it's got some great color nice oh, five pieces <laughs> <laughs> Try not to mess up your flow too much. Oh yeah, that's cool in the box. A little bit. Yeah. I need to clean out the bigger one still. We got some color in that one too. And there's black sand up there too, so there's probably gold in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Not too bad. Not too hi, bad. Jerry. Jerry, hi. Dwayne. Nice to meet you. Hi. Thanks for coming. Oh, working. Working. Definitely a lot of work to get it fixed out there. <laughs> it looks like you got you it's working. Yeah. I mean like I said, I'm used to a little bit of water. I gotta make like normally when I dam a home, I have to dam for 50 feet to get enough flow to get anything. So I'm like, this isn't bad. Yeah, you got it. Wet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just getting wet, man. I appreciate it. This is awesome. Right on. I'm really glad to see this many people out here. Heck yeah. This is how you know you're doing some work. Yeah, you are. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, wow, bro. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, the rule in the desert is the more more dirt you move, the, the more you clean up. Yeah, it's like that here, definitely. Yeah, brute force, right? Yep. It's not like picking or looking for stuff. It's just Here's, move, move as much as you can. That's the best looking box I've seen so far. Cool. Some gold in there. Yeah. I see some. There's yeah. a piece there. Is there? Oh yeah. There's some lip in there. Yeah, you got some gold. Looking okay. We're getting there. Cool. All oh, these guys up here. <laughs> the Hawaiians with us you showed up. Yeah, I'm here uh, supervising. Hey, supervising. <laughs> Think <Sure>. faster. <laughs> Help the old guy out. Uh, uh, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> Find us some gold. A little bit. You can see a couple on in the indicator, that's about it. Nothing to write home, Bob, but you can see it from here. I think we got some gold. I'd say so. Got some gold. Oh, man. Yeah, he's got some Thanks good Thanks for coming. Definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah, you yeah. got some gold. As the day progressed, everyone started showing up and setting up, and everyone was finding gold. 
Soon it was lunchtime and Mike started off his magic on the grill. Oh, cool. Hopefully something in there. Yeah, there's something in there. Yeah. You can see it? There's a lot of lead. <laughs> Normally I charge for that, but I'll give you a free piece, bro. Right on. Hey, how are you, man? I'm Ryan. Mark. Nice to meet you, Mark. Nice to meet you. Mark. The previous day was raining and we were worried about the weather, but as you can see, it was a beautiful day. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Still got some burgers. Oh yeah. Burgers. Sonia Davenport even showed up with some excellent chili for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> During lunch, we did a giveaway as well with a bunch of awesome prizes. Mike ended up surprising all of us and giving away quite a bit of gold as a grand prize at the end. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty good, Mike. No. And of course, the Nutter Butters. You can't forget. And the Nutter Butters, yeah. Nutter Butters, <laughs> courtesy of Mike as well. well. Sean got here early, and he was doing a lot of digging before everybody else. But actually, not even that much digging. We were just saying, how, many, how much about, like, half an hour? Yeah, this, yeah, half hour, 40 minutes. Okay. I was up there talking. Yeah. Got here early and talked. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was down here working, too, and got some gold. Check it out. Let's see what he got here. Oh, look at that. See, it's here. And it's fine, but that's not bad for that amount of time at all. Yeah, look at that. That is the biggest gold we've seen all day. <laughs> Almost, wow, yeah, it's chunky. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's cool. And it's got some dimension to it. Put all this other stuff in here. I mean, it's catching. You get this stuff spread out and it's the super fine stuff. Yeah. All through it. And I got still got that stuff got in there. More black sand that I dumped out. Is, is, there more that, is, that, all, is that all of it right there? And in the bucket. I was gonna say there's a lot of cons there. Oh yeah. Cool. Heck yeah. Well, that's that's uh, the pinch can and then I took a magnet to that. I'm sure it still has some fine gold in it. Sweet. He's got some gold in there. Oh, yeah. Gold all in there. It's kind of hard to see with the light. A little up in here. Look at that gold. You had the nicest sluice box out of everybody I've seen today. Got to put in the work. That's right. <laughs> Jason, look at that band. That's a nice one. That was my favorite piece, that little horseshoe. That is so cool. Pretty good. I mean, it might be hiding in there. I kept it. I mixed it all. Used glasses and chili. You know what? F it. Let's see what they work. I'll make you smarter. <laughs> you look so funny. I think you make your eyes bigger. <laughs> Am I like bubbles? <laughs> you are. <laughs> oh. River glasses. Somebody's blind as hell. I think he's a bipolar. Yeah. Oh, what a day. Just got everything packed up. Mike's got a little bit of stuff no gold. to pack up. No gold. No, we got chilling. gold. Had an awesome day today. Just wrapped up our group dig. This is our fall dig. Everybody found some gold, had a good meal. And look at this sunset, man. Well, I have to say that this trip turned out a lot better than I imagined it would. The more I meet my Patreon members, the more I realize how great the group of people is that supports me. It feels good to be able to give back when I can. Whether it be a day of prospecting, a new location to check out in the future, or just a hot lunch provided by the one and only Mountain Mike, which he deserves all the credit for. 
You see, the thing about gold prospecting is you might not always find gold. Well, you never know, you might actually find a bunch of gold, but the one thing for sure that you will find is a camaraderie from your fellow prospector. And I saw my fair share of this for sure on this day. I wasn't able to do much digging due to my hosting duties, but my dad did quite a bit, and here's the gold that he found. If you're interested in doing your own panning at home, I now have pay dirt bags available at a limited supply. Check out my store in the links below. I'd like to say thank you to all my Patreon members. It's because of you that all of these adventures are possible, and I can't thank you enough for all the support. If you're considering becoming a Patreon member, check out the link in the description below. There's also a link in the top right corner of the next screen. Patreon members have many benefits, including group outings and chances at winning guided tours. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that thumbs up button and drop a comment below. Also consider subscribing for future gold related content. Thank you for watching and as always, I wish you heavy pans.